I'm like already getting nervous about playing Outer Wilds again. I do want to give it another try. I want to give it another try. We're just gonna, we're, we're going to give it our best effort. Because you know what? I'm not a quitter. I will not quit. Got my my controller plugged back in. Uh, oh, and I should change the... Tag. Excellent. Let's resume our expedition. All right. I think I'm going to do the one at the tower. I think. I think that guy is going to be a little bit easier to avoid. Than the one in the house. Because the house is just so fucking big. And I think I know what I have to do. I think what I have to do is actually alert him. I have to spot him. And then I have to um, take the other path. So he's going to like walk towards me, right? So I think I need him to start walking towards me. I take the other path and, and just kind of go around him. Which I know I said earlier when I was playing. But... I'm just repeating it to myself, because if I remember, you know... It won't be as scary. If I have a plan, it's not scary. A laboratory with three test chambers. The second test chamber is badly damaged and cannot be entered through a, or can be entered through a hull breach. In the side of the stranger, I saw a vision-like recording of someone picking up an artifact and going to sleep in front of a green fire. The rest of the vision was distorted and difficult to make out, but a flame seemed to appear inside the artifact. We found it. We've, we found the tutorial for the part that we already knew. Huzzah! Oh, maybe my controller will work now that we've unplugged it and plugged it back in and unlaunched and relaunched the game. Haha, -ha, it does work. We can use autopilot. <sighs> and it's dark out now, it's gonna be extra spooky. Part of me was like, I wonder what would happen if we just, like, completely destroyed the ship in the hangar. But I realized that if we completely destroy the ship and it explodes, that'll hurt us, too. Welcome back. Um, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I played a little bit of Outer Wilds, and it got, like, legit scary. I screamed. I actually screamed. Um, yep, that happened. Uh, so I played a little bit more, and it still was scary. So we took a break, and we played Getting Over It for an hour. And we just booted the game back up because I'm giving it another chance. But, um, this game is actually so scary that I might have to turn down the scare factor, which I really don't want to do. Um, but, like, this is hard. <laughs> 
it's really, really tough. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a, in the settings, in the options, there's reduce frights. So I can turn this on at any time and, and make the game a little bit less scary. I really don't want to. I, I want to play the game as it was intended, but I'm not, I'm not good at scary. I, uh, I really struggle with it. So we'll, we'll see. Like, this, uh, Soma is nothing compared to this game, in my opinion. Soma was way less scary. Didn't expect this to be scary. I, I knew it was scary. I had heard, like, any time I talked to someone who had already played Echoes of the Eye, they were like, oh yeah, it's scary. I was like, oh really? And they are like, yeah. And so I was like, oh, okay. So, like, I, I knew to expect it. But I didn't realize it would be this scary. <laughs> and you're about to see why. Because we're, we're going to just go straight there. Because I don't really have any other leads for what to do right now. I actually took like a 45 minute detour to do a different little questy area, you know, um, to try to make things easier on myself. Uh. There's literally no point in lighting anything. Muy dark. Just you wait. Just you wait. Oh, God. Fuck this game. Fuck this game. Secret path. Oh, yeah. So, for anyone just tuning in, let's take a quick little gander, shall we? Ooh, can I go back down from here? I bet I can. So, that's where we're trying to get, right? We're trying to get to this place in the center. We can't get through here because these lights are lit. Um, we also... Uh, know that there are some guys that are just pacing around in these areas. Um, there's one over there. You can see him now when we're up here. So there, there are some guys around, but that you don't run into them at all. So it's not a big deal. However, however, when I go here, I can extinguish all the lights. They immediately alert, and they actually go down. Oh, there's one there. Okay, so actually I think my previous... My previous path was better. Oh, he didn't see me, though. Oh, well, I died. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So this is what I actually did last time, is I just woke myself up by jumping in the water, and then um, 
just kind of like started from here and I encountered fewer guys. So I'm just going to keep doing this. Um, how's my day though? I mean, my day has been largely disrupted by this stream. Uh, if you turned out all my lights, I'd also be pissed. I mean, yeah, I guess. I suppose I might be upset. Um, so this area I've done a bunch of times. I'm less spooked about this spot. I don't think there's a guy that comes through here. So I can go straight to the elevator and go down to where I want to be. However, there is a guy at the bottom of this elevator. Uh, he is down this path. And what I need to do is walk down here until I see him. I turn out my light and I go straight down this way. I believe I'm at the end. I'm gonna go straight to not set off the bell. I'm gonna go straight and go down the staircase. I made it. Oh my god, I did it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I did it. Oh my god, I did it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I just needed a break. You see, I just needed, I needed to take a break. I'm gonna have a celebratory drink of water. Oh my god. Also, hello, Grim Boulder. Welcome in. Oh my god. My heart is pounding. Oh my god. The last time I went through this area, like, I, I tried it a few times, and, and I got spooked. And, like, it felt like my life ended. If, if there is a guy down here, I will scream. I kind of want to move fast because I'm worried that one is, like, chasing me. Oh shit, there is one in here. I'm gonna, he's gonna fucking get me. I don't know where the fuck I am. How do I get out? this game <laughs> i hate this game it's been 10 minutes oh uh, uh, why not get some booze are you kidding i think i would die oh fuck this game <laughs> I was like, we did it. We fucking did it. We're we're through. We don't have to we we don't have to panic anymore. It's fine. And then I fall in a hole. I don't know if I can God. Uh... I have to do that again? 
That's that's what gets me is that I have to do everything that I just did again. And there still might be guys. There might be more. Uh, uh, this is so scary. It's just so scary. I don't know what it is about this game that makes it so much more challenging for me as a horror game than, like, any of the other horror games I've played, you know? Like, why is this game worse than, uh, Soma? Yo, bitch! Hi. Alright, at least I figured out how to get by him. Which also means that I know how to get by the other one that's in the bigger house. So I, I know that now it's you have to startle it, right? You have to alert it, and then just walk around and go the other way. Reminded me I gotta post your Wordle. How is Wordle? I've never actually played it. I ever it's all anybody's playing right now. I got this. Thank you, Allie. Thank you. Soma's an existential question, and this is just outer wilds. Yeah. Oh, that's the way to get back. Oh, that was the dam. Oh my god, we made it across. Oh my god, we made it. Oh my god, we made it. Oh my god. Tiger, don't let your guard down yet. Okay, I appreciate that tip because I'm so frightened right now. But just as an FYI, hints and, and tips uh, might get you muted. Just, just FYI, I appreciate the tip now. <laughs> Ordinarily, I don't. <laughs> Don't think there was an announcement uh, yet, was there? You know what? Now is a great time to bring that up, Allie. Thank you. <laughs> so I did mention it earlier, but I will say it again now. Uh, on Saturday, I am going to be hosting um, Boston Festival of Indie Games on Twitch, uh, or, or Boston Fig for short. And I'm going to be interviewing... Um, and demoing game interviewing devs and demoing some games live on stream uh i'm hoping to host them both on my stream and on theirs but it might just be theirs due to um limit uh some game limitation or internet bandwidth limitations um but yeah it's gonna be really awesome the stream will obviously be free but also the event is free with a donation or um suggest suggested amount of five dollars so you can actually just go and attend the event and try out indie games for free um totally recommend it some of them are upcoming game devs some of them are established game devs some of them are new games in development with kickstarters and others are already released that you can just go out and then buy if you like it so totally recommend checking it out um and that is this coming saturday february 5th 
from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And uh, hope to hope to see you there. And it's Boston Fig, F-I-G. So, yeah, I've been volunteering with Fig for, gosh, eight years, eight or nine years. And they're a really wonderful nonprofit organization um, that has a lot of emphasis on getting youth into the game industry and building the future of uh, uh, of games, game design. B fig, can we add? Absolutely. Uh, you, I don't. You might be able to. I made you an editor, Allie. Um, uh, I think Allie and Loof and Bridge are all editors as well as mods. So you might be able to add it. Uh, if you can't, I'll I'll add it after the stream. Okay. Thank you for the uh, quick intermission interlude announcement i'll probably say it again once more before the end of the uh stream holy crap really quick Normally, I would write these down. I am too afraid to take the time to write everything. Um, oh, fuck, it's burned anyways. Oh. We can open doors that way? Very interesting. Does this do anything? No. And I don't have to hold down the close light button anymore, so that's nice. Oh. Fuck. Is this a distraction? A posture check? Okay. Thank you, Tuka, for the posture check. I think we've seen this one. This looks new. This is new. Haven't seen this before. Your posture's fine. I just wanted to check. Welcome in, Tuka. I hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Keon also checking posture. I, I will be extra... So if something happens in their in the brain. I think it just wakes them up, doesn't it though? But not if they're dead. If they die, they don't wake up. Interesting. No, we see them. We wa we've watched them die. Like when the when the light goes out, when the fire goes out. So they go to sleep. He made it. 
so they've they've figured out how to how to prolong life how spelunking uh, oh you're done with spelunky time for a new game hell yeah I'm gonna have a great posture tonight. Yeah, until something gets scary and I just shrink back into a little shriveled, you know, version of myself. Um, Keon, hello. Welcome. Time for getting over it. <laughs> you refuse. Al, you'd have a rough time with it for sure. Um... Laughs in snow lower. I uh I was lucky I got off of shovel duty this time, but my car is fully blocked in. So if I want that to change, I'm gonna have to put in some elbow grease. Um Okay, so this is we finished this one. Um, let's check this one really, really quick since we're here. I really don't want to have to come back. Yeah, they scan it. Oh, the red is different. This is different. It's a good thing I looked. They foresaw them all dying. Oh, this is the one that doesn't have... Uh, the slide's destroyed. Oh, that's the satellite! We've seen that satellite. They try to encase the eye. Interesting. Okay, so they try to, like, shield themselves. I've also spent... so much time in here that it makes me nervous. So I can't... Fuck, what was the lesson that I just learned about these doors? It's that I can... If I... It was the artifact, right? Yeah. Walter, hello. How are the relevations today? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm having a day. <laughs> How selfish just themselves. I, yeah. I mean, I guess if you can't stop the sun from exploding, there's only so much you can do. I always learn to knock first a hard lesson, but... Oh man, that's funny. Can I not? I mean, I guess it makes sense that they wouldn't want me to go to all of these scrolls, but like, what else do I do here? There's gotta be something else. Because I need to know this. I need this. Why is it destroyed? What were they guarding? real, though. Why did I come here? I have a commentary about the lore, but we aren't ready for that yet? Okay. Yeah, I, I'm very curious to get the whole picture. How do I do this? I 
I can't put a different artifact there. I can't get through that door. It's so unlike this game to not have anywhere for me to go once I have progressed. Right? Like, I'm not going to say this was anticlimactic, but I, you know what? No, I am. This was anticlimactic. Where are my coordinates? Where's my key card? Sir? Excuse me? I swear, if I have to go back up and there's something up there that I need, I will cry. <laughs> I think I recognize this. This is the bell. The bell is right over here. Huh. There aren't even, even any platforms that I can, like, walk past or walk over. Everything is very fenced in. Should we go back up? Am I sure I watched the whole other reel? I feel like there was more... Uh, more in the reel where the... Shit. Oh, man. Walter, if I didn't watch the entire reel. I thought I did. If I didn't watch the entire reel. Oh, my God. Let's see what the log says. Hopefully, the... I'm sorry, we're not going to listen to the music. Yeah, the ship log will tell us. If I have to go back, I'll be very upset. <laughs> I was so ready with my camera, too. I was like... Ugh. Okay. We are awake. Uh. Controller. Let me unplug it and plug it back in. Game? Game. game I think my game crashed it's not recognizing any of my inputs uh uh I'm gonna try relaunching the game so that's fucking weird We good? Yeah. Yeah, just some bug. Da 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 da
Why is my mouse in the center? Uh, I remember this happened a lot when I first got the game and then it never really came up again. I'm just going to try completely closing the game down and relaunching it. Sorry, guys. Having some weird bug. Just reset it. Do over, do over. Oh, I got a message from my roommate. Make sure it's not urgent. Cool. My car is uh, not uh, trapped anymore. I'm going to have to share some baked goods with my roommates. We got a crazy amount of snow here. Like, waist deep snow. Um, the first snow banks blocking my car and it was like, okay. Oh no, my precious baked goods, listen. <laughs> I make some tasty baked goods. Sometimes those those cookies and those cupcakes, they get me through the day. Ah, aha, perfect. All right, ship log. You better not tell me that my time was wasted because I am disappointed at that one. I still don't know what those people were guarding. Like what was what was the big deal? The Forbidden Archive. Uh, it did completely fill in. It doesn't say there's more to explore, so I feel a lot better there. Um, a library full of intact slide reels hidden deep underground. There is a container marked with one of the vault seals, but its contents have been destroyed. I found a slide reel that shows the stranger's inhabitants analyzing the eye of the universe. Intact slides reveal construction and launch of a spacecraft designed to block the eye's signal. I found a slide reel that shows two artifacts being lit near a green fire. The first artifact lights after its bearer falls asleep, and the second uh, artifact lights after its bearer dies. I found a slide reel that appears to be some sort of error report. It shows an alarm bell failing to wake up one of the stranger's inhabitants. Okay. Not sure why this one still has the green marker. I guess it's just more to explore. Okay, so we have we have solved this one. I feel a lot better. We could try to do the secret fireplace next. Or was it this one that... This one, I think, is the one that I was looking at before. Uh, oh, right. We do have to remark the stranger. Big stress. Big stress. <laughs> How are, how's everybody else doing? <laughs> Sorry I've been so wrapped up in this game. I haven't even been asking y'all how your days are going. All 
All right, we got to the library. Honestly, any th the rest of this game is easy. <laughs> we did the hard part. Oh my God. That was so scary. <laughs> that whole area. It's funny how I, I didn't make it look that scary after uh, just, just doing it on the first attempt, you know? At least getting past the first guy, I mean. I'm also realizing that there is the, the faster way to get to the location I'm trying to get to by going through the broken airlock, but that might be more work. This isn't that hard to get to. And this way we get a nice little river ride. You can pick damage laboratory and get straight to it for the hull breach. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Because you can just, you can pinpoint like anything, right? It doesn't have to just be the stranger. So I'll do that next time because there is an artifact up there too. You're browsing Game Pass for your next game. So many choices. Ooh, which, what are you looking at, Allie? Ugh. Oh, I was a little worried we were going to go past it. I'm trying to think of what's on Game Pass that I um, have already played that I know is really good. I assume you've played, uh, uh, you've played Unpacking. Um, uh, you played Deedlet in Wonder Labyrinth? I haven't even heard of that, and I've perused Game Pass before. If you like organizing, Ali, uh, Wilmont's Warehouse is a fun one. I played that with uh, with KY off stream, and and as soon as we like started playing it off stream, we were like, oh, we should have streamed this. It would have been really funny to to play live, and uh, but it was too late. We were already too far into the game. Okay. This is the last area I'm going to explore on this stream today. We'll see how far I get. Um, I'm not going to break my leg trying to uh, figure it out, though. <laughs> but I, I know at least how to get through it this time. Paparazzi? Yeah, I saw that too. I'm also also intrigued. It looks really cute. Um But I remember there were a couple of like really good games on Game Pass that I played that I was like, oh man, if I'd never played those, I would have been thrilled that they're on Game Pass. But I'm trying to remember what it was. Also, I just noticed that door. This door. I bet there's a guy in there. I 
bet that's I bet there are two guys. There's one wandering around and then there's one waiting at the door. That's my guess. Just curious to see if that door opens, but I can't quite tell. Spooky door. They put new games on every month, so you might hold off and see what they add for March. Fair. Uh, oh, there is Death's Door. I'm going to play that soon. We're not scared. I'm not scared. I'm not scared, I'm not scared, I'm not scared. My heart is pounding. Fuck. Uh, not that way. This is the wrong way. Oh my god, I can hear my heart in my ears. Shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. I'm stuck. Fuck. Damn. There's another guy there. Okay. All right. There are at least three. There are at least three. This one, you really have to do a lot of dodging. Okay. 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 Sweating. Head is pounding. Hands are shaking. actually have to take my headphones off a little bit because like I can feel my pulse with the headphones on and it just makes it so much worse. I'm still better at this sort of thing than you are. I appreciate that, Walter. Um the the scream that I did earlier uh begs to differ. I don't know if you can tell. No, you can't really tell, but my I am shaking. <laughs> You don't get annoyed, just scared and frustrated. So, so here's here's the thing with horror games for me. Um, when I play a true horror game, like Amnesia, Soma, Outlast, um, I I do get scared. I definitely get scared. But after you get into a position where you die a couple of times, I stop getting scared and I get frustrated, like you're describing. So then I just kind of get annoyed and I don't really know what to do. And I try to like rush through it. And, and the jump scares don't do anything for me. This game, because it's so methodical about what you have to do and how you have to distract stuff, it, re it, it, it maintains its level of fright. And I'm just like, I'm not good at it. I, I truly think that this is the scariest horror game I've played. <laughs> Which feels really silly, right? Because it's not a horror game, right? I think that very few people would describe this as a horror game. Instead, they would say this is an adventure game that has some scary elements, right? But here's also the other thing that I'm kind of afraid of. Now that I have alerted, guys, 
I know that there's one that's just walking around like this building, I think. And he could be around any corner now. Whereas when I come here through here the first time, I'm pretty confident that he is not there. And what I don't know is if these guys, like, return to their stations. Alright, ready? Ready? Yo! Okay, we know that guy number two is in here. Fucking hell. I'm so close. I'm so close. I need... <laughs> I need to stop. Uh, I know how to get through it. I know how to get through it. I made amazing progress today, and that is what counts. And it's okay that I didn't get to both areas today. I, I will get the second one next time. I played for three hours tonight, and I, you know what, I'm proud of myself. I took a break. <laughs> I took a, I took a break and played getting over it and then came back to this. And you know what, we're really close to just four hours. Let's try one more time. One more time. And then I'm and then I'm gonna call it for the stream. All right, one one more attempt, and then and then I'm going to let myself relax for the rest of the night. I'm gonna play Pokemon and put on a TV show that I've already seen, and just relax. Maybe I'll even order takeout, <laughs> even though I've got chicken thawed in the fridge. You know. I don't know if that was the dam. Uh oh, I think I alerted him. So, hey, buddy. Where am I? Fuck. Oh, 
I did it. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay. All right. Okay. That was it. All right. We, we got really, really close. We'll get it on the next one. We will get it on. I know. We had done it. Walter, we were there. We were there. <laughs> Oh god, that's that's hard. It's really hard. It's really really hard. Okay. Well, um I will say if you stick around for the raid, you'll get bonus channel points which you can use to make me play um getting over. You don't have to go back? The bridge state Wait, you don't have to go back around and then teleport over? You have to teleport over. Right? Hold up. You still have to walk back around and go back to the grabby hands to go back to that side. Just go to sleep again. Wait. Oh, you're... Wait, shit. So I can just... I can just doze off right now. <laughs> I've ended the stream like three times. <laughs> no, I... Oh, fuck. You're right. I, I'm so glad that you said that. Because I would have quit the game and lost my, all my progress. Oh my god, thank you. Yeah, no. I If I had realized that later, I would have been so upset. Holy shit. Thank you. Please tell me there isn't a guy down here. walk it's a good thing i didn't have to do anything there if i had had to have done something there uh let's go down that always goes really well for us oh walter if you hadn't been here i would have been so upset all right we've got another library I assume we're going to have more slides to read. Oh, we got another door there. Oh, I want to be over there so bad. We don't have a lot of time. I'm going to go through these relatively quickly. If we want to read them again, we can. All right, everybody's watching TV, and they're sad. Uh, here, we're looking at a virtual world, which is the sleep world. Everybody goes to sleep. So, okay, they, like, chose a different reality, maybe. And yeah, I'm sorry that I'm going through these really quick. I would just be absolutely devastated if, uh, we didn't get them all, uh, in the log. Nope, nope, go back. Walking in our simulation. Oh, an error happens if you leave the simulation. Oh, interesting. So what happens if I leave my slide reel and then go back upstairs? What's going to happen? Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Here, this door is blocked. 
So what happens if I leave that there and I go back up? I assume that's what our... What the fuck? What? Holy shit. This whole game just changed. Holy shit. What the fuck? So that one's also burned and destroyed. Is this the Matrix? I guess so. I should go back up. Can I? Can, can I, can I? Can I interact with this at all? Maybe not? How do I go up? This is so insane. How did I go up before? With the light, right? But I can't turn my light on and off. There's gotta be a way to go up. There's gotta be. a solution to this, right? You can confirm yes or no. It is possible to go up in the elevator, right? No? Okay, thank you. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to, like, waste a bunch of time. Not without picking up the artifact again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, but if I go up there with the artifact. Well, that's the loop music anyways. So I can go, I wanted to go back up while it was all crazy light, you know? Cause I don't think there's anywhere else that I can like mount my little light doohickey. You can put it anywhere? I thought it had to be what? You can put it on the ground anywhere? What the hell? Why do I know this? What the what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't what? Oh, God, I did know that. Because you have to drop the artifact to do anything in this game. Oh. Uh. I didn't have to come back down here either. I can just drop the artifact in the elevator and then leave. Oh 
my god. Is Oh my god, look at him. He's not scary anymore. You guys, this game! Oh, this just got so cool! <laughs> oh my god. True mind fucking moment. Yeah, I call that progress. Oh my god. Walter, thank you for reminding me about game mechanics I already knew about. <laughs> also, that was cool, the quantum moon there. Oh my god. I'm so glad that I didn't get um I didn't get spoilers with this game. Like, I mean, I don't know how much more of it there is. There's still time, but, um, with my first playthrough of the first game, I had, like, a couple of small spoilers, not big ones, really. Um, but this game, it's been very blind, and that's been really nice. Um, because this game really deserves it. You know what I should have done? Actually, never mind. I want to look somewhere else. <laughs> oh, oh no. The artificial gravity. It's busted. Oh, it gets like cracked. I want to look at this. A, a library full of intact slide reels hidden deep underground. There's a container marked with one of the things that is content destroyed. Found a slide reel that shows the stranger's inhabitants congregating around a small green fire. Intact slide reveals the creation of a simulated reality modeled after their home moon. I found a slide reel that appears to be some sort of error report. It shows one of the stranger's inhabitants dropping their artifact on the ground and walking beyond its projection radius. Oh, that's so cool. Never seen the artificial gravity break. That's neat. It happened to me like once or twice when I played the main game, but um, but that is all. Uh, we need this. I'm gonna go to the very first one. I want to go to the very first entrance and just see what happens when I walk outside of the targeted area. Oh. I'm connecting some big dots. So if I take this and go to the fire that's in the um in the bell, I bet I can walk past all those guys. Or all those those pats, all the water and and like the blinky guy. Oh man, this game has completely changed. Oh my god, I love this game. I'm mad at it. I'm mad at it for the scary, but I think I've overcome the scary. Okay, I'm going to pause for, for one second. Stereotypes about parking intensifies. <laughs> I, um, uh, I just need, I need to use the bathroom again. I'm going to do a really quick BRB. I won't even go on the BRB screen. I'll just be, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. We're going to keep playing. This is, this is too cool. This is too cool. I can't stop now.
I'm back. I'm back. We're back. I'm back. Whew. Since I am going longer than I expected, I'm going to... Let's check that. Okay. Sorry, I got a message. And I feel bad letting them sit. Okay. We're good. Ah, uh, let's doze. Let's wake. And you know what? Let's put this shit down. We don't need it. Actually, we need it. It's too dark in here. We need to get out first. Just because getting out of here would have been a nightmare. Okay. That should be far enough. Yeah! Look at this! Oh my god. Oh, this is so cool. You can see the, the path for the... Uh, for the thing? Oh my god, this is so cool. Any other game and I would have been like, what? What? This is so weird. <gasps> oh, cool. We can still use these. At least a little bit. I can't decide where we should go. There's, it's like now I want to revisit everywhere we've been. I don't know if we can use this because this is the one that you need to shine light through. This is also pretty cool just seeing the bounds of the areas that we've been exploring or like trying not to fucking freak out about oh my god this is so amazing uh yeah so like this one we can't light so we can't go across right now anyways um i bet if we lit the the thing before dropping our thing it would be there is my guess Everything's so much smaller when you can actually see it. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Let's see if... Actually, I don't think we'll be able to call the... Uh, the boat either, but maybe we'll just go grab our... Our, our thingy. Because, like, obviously we can't go across there. Let's. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else to do up here, but you know what? Oh! I fell in the water. <laughs> Whoops. I fell in the water and drowned. <laughs> That's funny. I think I just heard the dam break. Got a bit of a time reminder there. The other thing I kind of want to try... Um...
So, oh, I wasn't where I thought I was. I thought I was at this one. Where these guys are walking, yeah. There we go. Here I wanted to explore a bit. There's a thing over there. Maybe this isn't exactly where I thought I was. That's the bridge I didn't light a minute ago. No, the one I didn't light was on the other side, isn't it? No. This. This is the bridge that I didn't light. Oh, you're right. Okay, I, I understand. I understand. I understand. Yes, thank you. I was I thought you meant one that I walked across and I was like, mm, I don't think so. Let's see. Nice. So I walked around here, actually. And did not see too much. Um, I wonder if these guys can still... spot me in here or not. I do have to take the tunnel. I guess we're gonna find out if they can spot me because I'm gonna go into the room where they're all singing. Ah, They're so much cuter in this light universe. I, ah, uh, man. I can't get over how I never expected this in the game. I'm probably being, I don't know. I don't know if I'm being overly cautious or not. I definitely don't want to push it. But it would be kind of funny to learn if you could just like walk right through them, you know? Alright, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out if we can walk past them. Uh. Ha! Huh. Ouch, my bones! I just got an achievement. <laughs> so. Okay. They can... They can see you. You got the exact achievement in the exact way. That, um... That's, that's funny, Walter. That's actually a lot of steps I'm realizing as I'm thinking about it. Um, you know what I'm, I'm going to do? This is what I'm going to do. I didn't see a way to go through the fireplace there. And I haven't quite figured that area out yet, uh, to be honest. So I think I'm going to call 
the boat and I want to go to the bell. I want to go to the bell and explore the bell with my ring camera here. This is so cool. <laughs> We're gonna go right past here. Actually, we can't even dock here because I haven't uh, unlocked it. That's either the dam or the end of the game. Oh, it's gonna knock over where I am. Yeah. <gasps> Garbage, garbage, garbage. Okay. Um, how do I want to do this? I want to meditate. I'd rather just restart this, this spot and do it again. I'm going to try to do the exact same thing that I was just trying to do there. Which is probably silly to do it at that location. Maybe I should just go to the tower. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go to the tower because then I'll have more time. Uh, I'll always wake up when the dam breaks at that other location, but I have a full loop and I get a halfway mark if I go to the taller one. Also, I like Steam notifications. It's funny, I don't like a lot of notifications. I'm actually shocked. I don't have any new rumors from that. We had no notes. Also, the stranger isn't high. Fine. Oh no, the thruster's damaged. Damn it. Um I'm a terrible I'm a terrible person. Everything notifies you of everything all the time. I like I like achievement notifications for stuff like that. For like weird little kind of like, I don't know, like special things. Um, what I don't like is achievements for plot points. Um, cause those I find disruptive. They kind of distract me from the game if uh, I just get a notification for like existing. It's like nice to see progress or whatever, but most of the time it just kind of is a little burden, a little over overbearing is the uh, word I was looking for. Um. But the little ones here have been really cute when they come up, because they're usually when you do something really weird. But uh, uh, definitely no to your question, Allie. It doesn't make you weird or, or a terrible person. Uh, just another one of those like individual gamer things. Give me... Huh, that was such a good little launch. <laughs> Give me my artifact. Oh, I'm so excited. Keon, you're going to bed? See you later. Have a great night, Keon. Thanks for hanging out. Good to see you. 
Yeah, I'm having a great time. It's, I was so ready to quit the game on several occasions today. Uh, but who knows? Maybe we're going to have just like a super long stream today. I mean, it's already really long for me. I think the, the longest I've ever streamed, I think, is five hours and change. I wouldn't be surprised if we get to that or exceed it tonight. I'm especially glad because I was worried that with the scary elements that this game was going to lag a little bit too much or drag on a little bit too much, you know? And now I no longer have that concern. We still have to get to that one other area. Or not roast a marshmallow. Okay. So we're back here with no mysteries to solve. Well, I guess it might be nice just to look at this, actually. This is cool to just kind of look at, just see if we can spot anything new. It looks mostly the same. I may have gotten a bag of marshmallows on your last gro uh, grocery uh, trip thanks to this game. I should. I really should. I've had a bit of a hankering for marshmallow, too. New building. Secret tunnel, secret tunnel, through the mountain, secret, secret, secret tunnel. I do miss my propulsion jet. That would be nice. Um, have I gone up here? Was there anything to do up here? I don't think so. What's also kind of nice about the glitch is it looks like you're able to see things more clearly, but I don't think it changes, except for like the, the, the pathways, right? I don't think it changes much else about like what's in the world or anything at all. Uh Please straighten out. Okay, good. It fixed itself. It stayed on its rails. Uh I actually don't want to go here. We we have been here already. We have seen all that there is to see. We gotta check this shit out. Toot toot. Uh, let me up, let me up. Fuck. Oh, so close. What I did for the last one was go through with the lights on, send the elevator down, then turn them off to ride oh what 
Wait, which elevator, Walter? I'm gonna drop my artifact here. The one I just rode past. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I think there was like one room that I didn't look at that I might still go back to, maybe? <laughs> if I have to? It was, well, I guess it's easier to get there now that I know this whole secret, you know? Because it was like when we went back and we saw a guy that was like hidden. So, huh, I was hoping we would see something different here. Will this still work? We've seen this whole thing. Maybe less to do here than I hoped. That's a bit of a bummer, but eh, whatever. It is interesting that each of these areas does load in as its own like level I guess you could call it it's called the raft man how are we gonna get past those guys to get to the fireplace behind him. That is a fireplace behind the big guy, I'm pretty sure. Getting past him is going to be trickier. <laughs> the smiley face. The Oh, you'll find out. You'll figure it out, don't you worry. One thing I do wish is that there was a... <sighs> Damn. I wish that there was a bit of a... I don't know, a... A faster way, I guess, because I think there is a small chance that I might have to go back to the cliff area and do the spooky part again. I don't think so, but there is a small chance. Um, I don't I think we've actually, we have looked around here with the light off. Yes. Uh, but there's one place that I haven't been. Um, and I'll leave my light here because this is where we'll have to come back to if something does in fact change. So we can go in this door. It's so bright. 
What a stark contrast to the rest of the game. This is like the light world and the dark world. So there was in here. And then further up, I wanted to go to the very top. Because this is somewhere I haven't been in a while. And oh, good, nothing. <laughs> What a good vantage point, though. Wow, a really good vantage point. You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it, molded by it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man. I don't know how to do the Bane voice, like actually. I remember I, I did like a, a Bane impression once and uh, at work at a previous job and my coworker made fun of me because to me it's like a nasally kind of like, I was born into it, molded by it. Like, I think that that's the kind of voice that the voice actor kind of goes into. Um, very head voicey, you know? Um, instead of like chest voice. As if I have any training whatsoever, which I do not. But anyways, um, I, I like made that kind of voice and he was like, it's so high pitched. I'm like, I'm, I, I don't know. I'm a girl. What do you want? <laughs> I'm not going to like, I'm not going to imitate Bane by going, I was born into it, molded by it. Cause that's not the kind of voice he makes. <laughs> um, I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go or what to do now because I have to go the only other like area I haven't been to of these secret areas is the first one with the chanting people which I haven't figured out yet um Hated this area. Yeah, that, that area sucked. You know what? Let's just wake up. <gasps> Good morning. Let's leave. One thing I always thought was kind of strange is that the rise of the of the water it doesn't seem to make locations that I need to go to accessible which I guess makes sense because the the goat people didn't expect the dam to break you know All right. Well. Huh. Hmm. like over here it would be really cool 
If I could just like get up there now, right? I don't think I can. And even if I could, I don't think there's anything really... Oh, I was really close. Hey. Let's look out the window. Let's go look at space. Look at that red sun. Look at that solar system. It's a work of art. Confidently. Oh, this is that little pool area, too. So there's a little, there's a underwater building now, right? Indeed. Oh, that scared me a little bit. Forget where this went. Yes. It opened the door to the slide reel room. Okay. I think that I have had like the most productive session of this game ever. And I don't think there's anything else that I want to give another attempt tonight. Um, so I think I can confidently say now that I'm gonna raid. We're gonna raid. And before, um, uh, before you go, if you stick around for the raid, you'll get bonus channel points, which you can use to make me play Getting Over It and future games, um, after I get through some more of Getting Over It. I'm, I think I'm gonna change up that redeem every, uh, couple of times that it gets redeemed. Uh, yeah, this is a good spot to leave it. I think so, too. I think so, too. So stick around for the raid and you'll get those channel points. The other thing that I'm going to mention one last time is that this Saturday, February 5th, I am going to be hosting Boston Festival of Indie Games on Twitch. Um, so definitely tune in for that. Boston Fig is a uh, gaming expo um, and like a little mini virtual convention for game developers to showcase what they're working on, whether it be current projects, upcoming projects, already published projects, all kinds of stuff. There's going to be tabletop and digital. This event is free to attend with a suggested donation of $5 if you're able, but you don't have to feel obligated at all. Um, and it's also going to be broadcasted by me on Twitch. I'm going to be walking around demoing games live, interviewing de uh, developers and stuff. So I highly recommend checking it out. Again, that's Boston Fig, F-I-G. Um, and it's going to be a really good time and I'm really looking forward to it. Ali, thank you so much for hanging out. Walter, Keon, thank you for hanging out. Yeah, be a fig. Just, just like so. Um, and we had we had a whole bunch of people rolling in and out. This is the longest stream I've done in a really long time, and it was a doozy. This was one of the this is definitely the most scared I've been in a video game, I think. This was a lot. But let's see who is online. 